<laughs> uh, will you read Rex Ryan's book? Uh, yeah, I haven't. Uh, I've heard a lot about it. Um, uh, a lot of things that have been said. But yeah, I definitely read Rex's book because I have a tremendous amount of respect for him and um, the fact that he you know, took time out to uh, uh, kind of put his thoughts and feelings down the picture. Uh, I, mean, I, can't, I can't wait to read it. I'm going to jog your memory right here. Rex Ryan, we see him in Hard Knocks yeah. as a loud coach. But in the halftime of that AFC Championship game when you're down big, what did Rex say to you in the locker room? You know, the biggest thing is uh, he was spent a lot of time down on the defensive side. Just, you know, guys, you know what, this, we're not playing indicative of the things we've been working on. We tackle the fundamentals and things of that nature. Uh, offense, obviously, he came and stressed us. we got to wake up and get the plan. Um, and uh, the greatest thing about it was the players kind of took charge. I remember mean, Sean Ellis on the defensive side, you know, Mark and a bunch of guys and myself on the offensive side. And uh, we went out in the second half and played well. We just didn't play well enough to win the game. Now, being a Jet, after that loss in the AFC Championship game, yeah. what's going through all your guys' minds as just falling short twice? Well, you know, it's one of those things, uh, obviously, you're very disappointed. Uh, but at the same time, you realize that it's very tough to, uh, you know, to get that far. And so, uh, you know, we're just proud of the fact that we did. And obviously, with Mark Sanchez in his second year, I think the, the sky's the limit. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Luck. What, what predictions do you got for this coming year? Super Bowl or bust? Uh, no, nah, you know, we got to see. It's just, you know, you never want to. I think this, this, especially early, this early, with uh, everything that's looming, the lockout back in place, we want to, uh, we want to get to playing football first, and then we'll see what happens after that.